Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette and the Tourism channel. So, like like you can see from the title of this video, we're going to talk about Idi Amin Dada, Field Marshal, you know, last king of Scotland. He had so many titles. The British. The conqueror. British, <laughs> the British conqueror, you know. Thanks. So here we are still in Dubili, the Kabaka's palace. But before we go any further, if you don't just subscribe to my channel, feel free to subscribe over there. Leave me in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this content and all this amazing stuff that I put out. It's a tourism channel. I talk about tourism culture. Recently, we have been talking about the the, the Kabaka's coronation, which happened last week on the trend on the thirty first of July. So here we have the. One of the one of the armories which were left behind by Idi Amin Dada. So remember, in history, in 1966, we had the Kabaka crisis, where the Kabaka was was exiled. Say Kabaka, Mutesa the second was exiled, and then Obote took over government and became the president. So in 1971, Obote gets 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 overthrown by Idi Amin Dada. You know. So remember, by the time Obote comes into power, this property, the parliament, the palace of the Kabaka, was being used as a military barracks. Oh, oh, I mean, being a military guy and being the, the regime he came in was a, a coup, a military coup, he decided to build an armory where he would keep his weapons. And that's where we're going right now. By joining me, we have the marketing manager. Okay. <laughs> okay, what title uh, do you want? Call of it? <laughs> Joseph, which title right, do you want? Um, here is the Idi Amin's Canon. Yes. And uh, uh, first, give us your title. Hey. Yeah. Manager. I know I've seen you. I head marketing. Yeah, it's marketing manager. manager. Okay, head marketing. <laughs> Tell us. Yes. All right. Now this uh, Canon mm. was bought by Idi Amin. Yes. Uh, given to him by Gaddafi. Mm. And Gaddafi bought this from East Germany wow. before combining it to be German. Mm. So this was bought from East Germany and uh, Idi Amin got it after hearing that Obote was in Tanzania in a plan to come and, and attack him. So he got prepared with this. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> you've heard about uh, Sabasaba something, you've not heard about it. Mm. But a Munza Sabasaba, mm. who are this kind. These were the ones. Yeah, wow. and Idi Amin used it in uh, nineteen sorry in uh, nineteen seventy nine during that time when that last war uh, uh, when they were overthrowing war. him. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't there, but I've read about yeah, it. Yeah, so this was left here mm. as evidence that it was once a military barracks. Wow. Yeah, remember we told you that it was called Malide Barracks. Mm. Yeah, so this one was of the videos that we, we made. Yeah. So for me, I was going to see the the, the car remains. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think we will just show them about it. Yes. One of the cars that remained after the attack yes. of the palace. There were a convoy of 12 cars, and that is the only one that survived. Wow. It's a Daimler. It's a Daimler. But we've got trims of the Rolls Royce, you'll see them. And uh, we had the Cadillac as well in the convoy, but those did not survive. So from that, then we shall stop to the Idi Amin's camp, still in the Kabaka's palace. Yeah. Yeah. It was a and um, this is uh, one. At the time. Which one is this? This was this was the one in the Akanda. The music system of a crisis. Yeah. Well, these are the wheels. Yeah. Of the Rolls Royce, like mm. you can see. Ah, ah, so a lot of stuff that guys can see. When they should come, they should just come and tour the King's Palace of Mango and other other that we shall do. Yeah. Yeah. Because Buganda has quite a lot of potential as far as tourism, as far as culture is concerned. True. Our physical and history. Oh yeah. yeah. Our physical sites that have history. There is the heritage itself, there is the culture in terms of food, uh, culture and practices and all. Wow. So tell us about Idi Amin as we go down to the Tusha Chambers. The story of Idi Amin? Yes, how did that Tusha Chambers come into play? Mm. You know, I uh, saw so it was first an armory yeah. and then it turned in and then started being killed from there. Mm. You know, it was in, this is where in Kampala. Sure. So how did he have Tusha Chambers in Kampala? You okay. know, how did he used to do all these things? I'm very curious, you know, mm. as we go down, you know, tell us that story. Yeah, no. <coughs> uh, this was built as an armory because remember we said 
that it was once um, a military, military box. box. Here, where well, we are in, Here, in well, on this ground. Yes. yes. On this ground. Mm. So, uh, uh, Idi Amin built this. Yes. Remember that time, so many buildings in Uganda, the contracts were given to the Israelites. Yes, true. So, he contracted the Israelites to build mm. him an armory where ammunition would be kept. kept and stored, yeah. Yeah. But after what happened, you know, the fact that he had towards his power yes, and all that, yeah. he turned it into and church chambers where thousands of people were killed and lost their lives. These were most especially the educated because they I mean you know he feared so much the challenge. So he knew that the doctors, the professors were so much educated, they were either elites mm. at that time. So he knew that they would challenge him alone. Mm. So he killed them and then others like you will see the story when you see the oh, you know, ordinary people the the life, they used to bring them in a truck would bring them in of course they would first you know put them in a car and uh, drive them around the ring road so to confuse them to confuse so that they think them. that maybe they're very far out of town uh -huh, out and of just town. like we're going to sit down mm. you know when you're down there like i was once there mm. you, ca you can't see anything oh yeah you know, i don't know if, if now they have built some structures that are high enough no you cannot but when you're down there you think you're very far you think you're in a bush you can't believe you're in kampala yeah and mm -hmm. you can't you can't think like you're in the park <laughs> yeah because yeah. even while i was still in the palace ground yes right from where we started yeah and where we're going still the palace ground look at where we're going yeah oh my god it's like great to a forest yeah. okay <laughs> so now yes uh we're trying to plan to build uh, another plantation along this track so we go down uh, different banana species yeah so we have a story another story there because we have several several species of bananas yeah. yeah, we also have the, the fig trees, the ficus, oh, sorry, the ficus natales, where the backcourt is involved. Yes. So we've got a story of the backcourt. In fact, I think it's one of the things that we shall do. Yes, true, true, true. One of our videos are going to look at how to is the backcourt made oh, yes. and the significance we're of the that. We're, we're all going to have them here in the valley. Wow. We're going to have the backcourt making process. Uh -huh. So when you come, we can take you through, and then we shall take you through right from the harvesting of, uh, of the bark of the tree, and then uh, through all that process to the final product because we've got some final products done in back of back of the back. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So still back to Dr. Idi Amin Dada. You know, some people feel that the Baganda loved him. Why was he loved by the Baganda? Was it because he, re he returned? Sekabak has Mutesa's body, mm. you know, because people feel even here right now in Uganda, there is a bit of love for Idi Amin than for Obote, mm. you know. Now, and I don't know. Mm. Remember, we said that uh, Mutesa's body, mm. uh, Mutesa died in exile. Yes. Just like Mwanga. Yes. Mwanga also died in exile. Yes. So Mutesa returned the body of Mutesa. Sorry, uh, Idi Amin. Returned the body. Yes, yes, yes. Of Mutesa yes, too. Yes. To appease the Baganda. Yeah, and they were happy. I remember I read about it in history. They yeah. were kind of very happy. Yeah, and you know? he did that to appease them such that he gets rid of less resistance. Oh. We said, remember, 24th May, the king was attacked. Yes. But the truth of the matter is that mm -hmm. Obote was envious about this. Okay. He was the president, but above all, he has been loved, he was loved by the people. You know? Yeah. So uh, the constitution was giving a lot of powers, military powers to the prime minister mm. who was about there. And let me have powers to the president. Yes. But remember, you take the one, this is Yes. So um, them would come and uh, the president and the prime minister had to go to the parliament. But for the president, Sorry, for the Prime Minister, who had more military power, mm. you could actually not even notice. He has passed. He has passed. Oh, yeah, but mm. for the King, mm. you could tell from a distance. Yeah. And this, this, this tremendous thing. And I think it, got, it, it disturbed his mind a lot. Mm. So, so we are here. So we are here at the mm. Idi Amin's Amare, or the Idi Amin's State of China. We've got the story. Then, uh, I think the remaining part is seeing what really happened, seeing the physical 
the dungeon or the chamber, the rooms, and then we shall we shall attach that to the story. Because they, because they say like, but are there some people who survived being brought down to this torture chamber? It was not easy. It was not easy to survive. Because what well, because well, I was told that the camp were, that there was water down there mm. and there was electricity in the water. Mm. Is that true? And then there were gates where if you got in, mm. if you tried to move out, you know, like gates would close and water yeah. would fill up. Yeah. Because this place has been here. How many years has this place been Actually, here? Actually, from, you see, in the 1970s. Yes. This is where it was here. Yes. When you, as, if you entered from that point, yes. the chances of, of, of escaping are very limited. Now, once you got past that point, to this point, the chances of escaping are coming mm -hmm. back alive. Minute. And it feels so sad right now. If the place is all green and beautiful, but looking at that place, it looks so scary. How many lives do you feel do you think were lost down here during the time? And someone told me that this place was not only used during the reign of Idi Amin, mm. but also was used after by Obote yeah. too when he came into power. True, that is you true. Know? It was used by both Amin and Obote. Now, at the entry of that dungeon, yes. There was a sliding door, a metallic door. Yeah, at the entrance. we're going to see that. Yeah, you're going that to see remain. Mm, evidence that there was a metallic door. And uh, on on those rooms that are inside, yes. there was a sliding door. As well. As well. Oh, a sliding metallic I can see that. The, the area is where like, some metals are removed. Yeah. And. Um, and water? Water comes in here? No, no, no. This was just a drainage channel. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, if you look on these walls, yeah, mm. you see, this is evidence that there was electric. These are electric wires, mm. like you can see. But this was not on the original plan. If you look at the wall, you see that this was just added onto. You see this? Yes. It was just added. Even that side, you see that it was just added into it, meaning it was not the original plan. This was originally a plan of an armory. Okay. Now, they would let in water to this level. If you see this cut goes around all this this dungeon, so water will be you know will get to that level. So once they go through it, they will pipe in here. Of course there is no there are nothing there, so there was no fresh air, oxygen and all that. So part of the here. Uh, so people will either die of suffocation or hunger. So they would throw them here in the water mm. and they would be electrocuted so they would extract uh, the truth out of them mm. because they thought that people knew the truth, you see. So they used to electrocute them mm. and torture them in that way. Oh, so, so those lines down there are for the water yeah, marking? Yeah, the water level. Yeah. the water level because if you look along the walls you can see it. Yes. So water will be putting up to that level. Wow. So they would be piled in those walls in these these cubicles or the cubics and they would be suffocated and uh, you know stabbed. How many those people? last the, the last two uh, they seem like they are ventilators mm. but they were not because this is already below the ground. So there was no gaseous exit. So people would die of suffocation. Wow. Yes. So how many people do you think used to be part of the cells? Is that uh, the number of people that lost their lives here is mm. not the exact number is not known, but there are thousands of people that lost their lives here. So once they knew that you are about to die or the, all that, they would pile them in the last in the last cubicle, like you will see. Uh, you've got some fingerprints of people that would you know starve, footprints and all that. And still on the walls, we have some people that come here, you know, to get the story and maybe contribute to their people who they think lost their lives here. You see, my people, I lost my husband, my husband was killed by people who bought it, all those things. Oh my God, there is rest in peace here. Yeah. So we get those from the people that come. If you look on the wall, you it's see so some dark. fingerprints. Oh my God. And uh, and footsteps. Uh, yeah, and footsteps. You see, even this side. Oh my God! You see that? Yeah. What do you see? Also, the hands. Eh? Mm. The fingerprints. Wow. 
So for how long? So this place was built as an armory. Yeah. When did it start working as a torture chambers? That was like around uh, that, 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 that time when Oboti came back, yeah, to fight Idi Amin. So that was from 1976. This place During became a torture chamber. Yeah. Even when Oboti II came into power, it remained as a torture chamber. Yeah, tortured, uh, People so were killed. Because I'm seeing here marking. So family members come here to look for their people? Yes, some family members come here to pay tribute because they think that their people lost their lives here. So the bodies would be dumped in Lake Victoria to act as, animal, to act as food for the crop. Uh, yeah. Oh, and these are the sliding doors that you talked about. Yeah, if you look on the wall up there, they are metallic. So there was a sliding door. Okay. You see. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. The Idi Amin Toja Chambers. Wow. Thank you very much, Joseph.